Hello everybody, my name is X Factor, and welcome to one of the coolest things I've seen in the Battlefield franchise. This is the Gun Bench. You want to talk about customization available in the Battlefield series? This is taking it to the next level. On the PC side, you have to enter this from the battle log. You go to loadout, and there's going to be a little orange button. You simply click that, and then the game launches from there. And there's a whole lot of stuff going on, so let's get into it. So let's pick something like the M416, and from here, you could do basically what you could do in-game. But here's where it changes. Vertical selection. Well, let's say you want a different optic on or in your optic. You have all these different choices. But it doesn't end there. You can also edit it when it comes to position and scale. And as you can see, we have a much longer and taller Cobra optic. And then if you want to, you can change the position all around. But if you mess that up, don't worry, just right click and it's going to center back down. And of course, you want to put some of your favorite accessories on this because there's a shooting range in here as well. But this is where it gets really interesting is the stencil editor. Now, you can see that you have all your different camos that you can unlock. And you can see which ones are able to be edited. So here we can see some of the ones that I haven't unlocked and whatnot. Uh, there's quite a few that are so locked. But up here are the ones that you could choose from. And I know what you're asking. Yes, the other players can see what you look like. Not just your gun, but your person. So let's take something like this digital stencil here. And as you can see, it looks pretty rad on its own. But we're going to go into this, the stencil editor. And here it gives you the ability to mess with the four colors in it. So why don't we do something kind of vivid here. Color one, and it's going to default some of these colors, but you could change them. Basically, color four was changed. All right, let's go another blue. Let's do something like this. Color three, let's see what happens when we change it off, right? You could simply change it off like that to see what it kind of looked like. But I really like that neon color right there. Uh, let's darken that up a little bit. So right there is basically the way that's going to look, and that's pretty nasty looking. So, go back into the gun batch here, and one more choice you could do is the wear and tear of it, right? So, you could slide that all the way down, so there's basically no color on the thing. And then you can mess with your finish, which also kind of messes with the wear of it. So, you could start to see it kind of show through. But it'd be nice if there was a way to flat that without that coming off. But again, everybody sees your gun this way in the game. But it doesn't end there. Now we can go to character customization, and I've already started one. Uh, so let's go into one of my classes, the operator class, and uh, let's mess around. Let's unlock this stealth because i got a ton of vouchers. The stealth patterns and whatnot, there's a lot more going on if they have camo, such as this guy right here, right? You're using stealth on the operator. And as you can see, I've already done a little bit here. It's broken down based on the material that they're wearing, Okay. So, let's say we don't want to be really inconspicuous. They took a lot of the neon colors out of the palette here, but that's okay. We could still get kind of funky with, let's say, a nice sky blue. And here you see the nylon, and the best way to do it to see what changes is, you know, basically change it to a bright color and see if you could spot it. And obviously, there's not a lot of nylon on this guy, so let's just kind of gray that out. But there's camo. We've got lots of camo, so you can see the... Purple, yurple in parts of my vest here. And as you can see, I toned that down just a little bit. But I kind of like the more bright color. And there's a lot of prominence here in this range right here. So maybe hit it with that. And then let's go and hit them with like a red maybe. Look at that. Just plays so nicely. These colors. Oh, that's looking good. That's looking good. And here is another color. Ah, a little too much purple stack. A little too much purple stack. Let's do a little green. Let's get some green in there. we got to find the right green. Something like that, maybe. Something like that. Now we're, now we're looking good, and we're ready to hit the streets. So you can do this with multiple weapons. Obviously, you can see you can unlock more slots. And you can change absolutely everything in this thing, which is awesome. We've never had this level of customization before in a battlefield game so let's just do one more stencil here 
when we pick a camo. Let's see how crazy we can get this zebra. There's only going to be a couple colors in this, right? Because it basically dictates off of uh, what you have available and what kind of camo you basically select there. So nothing too crazy with this pattern. Maybe hit it with the blue. Looking a lot better just like that. So kind of fun to use, right? But that's not the only thing that you could do. You could basically take your weapon and go to the gun range. And it's your traditional gun range. And uh, you basically follow it around here. Uh, you could change your loadout right here. You could re-ammo over here. And if you want that smooth jazz feel, or a little bit of the radio going off, you could basically just start shooting it up and bring back your target, just like a real gun range. Pretty cool, right? All the different ranges available to you guys. What do you guys think of the customization available in Battlefield Hardline? Would you like to see something like this in future Battlefield titles? I think this is one of the coolest things that I've seen on a customization level in a very long time. As always, guys, thanks for watching and hanging out. We'll see you soon. Fuck them all, they can eat my dick, that's worth a pimp. I don't fuck with to talk like all these fucking imps.